Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to explain you how to read a file previously written on the FAT file system um, on the SP32. Uh, we will do this by using the Arduino core. So, before we proceed, let me say that as a target port I'm using an SP32 Fire Beetle board from DFROB. So, uh, in previous tutorials we have already covered the basics of mounting the FAT file system and how to write a file and now we are going to finalize uh, the procedure, the normal procedure that is writing a f uh, reading a file after it is created at some point in time. So, moving on to the code, uh, as usual you need to start by including this ffat.h library so we have access to all the functionalities we need uh, to interact with the FAT file system. Um, moving on to the setup function, as usual we are going to uh, open a serial connection in order to output the results of our program and then we are going to mount the file system. Please take in consideration that we have already covered in detail um, all the methods called here in the, in the mounting procedure, so please refer to the previous videos uh, if you have some doubts about how to mount the file system. The important thing to retain here is that before you do any action over the file system, the first thing we you need to do is mounting it. So, um, assuming that everything goes well, and please take in consideration that we do an error check here in case the mounting procedure fails, but assuming everything uh, goes well, we print this message, so the user is informed that uh, the file system was correctly mounted. After that, uh, we are going to write the file. I'm writing the file just as a precaution, uh, assuming that you may have not followed the previous tutorial where we have already created a file in the FAT file system. But if you have already created a file, you don't need to rewrite it. You can use an already created file uh, in the next section of the code where we are going to read uh, the content of that file. If you want, you can just write over it or, or create a new one and follow this part of the code. Uh, that I'm going to briefly recap from the previous tutorial where we will write the file. So basically the first thing we need to do is call this open method on our fat uh, extern variable. Uh, recall that this will uh, become available as soon as we include the fat.h library and we can use this uh, object to, to interact with the file system. So you call its open method in order to open a file for writing. The first argument is basically the name of the file. Don't forget to include here the slash, the forward slash, indicating that this file is located or should be written and created in the root directory of the FAT file system. And then a second parameter, uh, we need to specify the opening mode of the file. And in our case, we are going to write the file. So we use the constant file underscore write. As output, we are going to get an object of class file that we are going to use uh, to write the file. So this is just a, a quick error check to guarantee that the file was correctly open uh, for writing. Uh, as I've already mentioned, this file class overrides the C++ boolean operator, so instead of having to call some method to check if the file is correctly open, we just enclose it here in an if condition with the negation here, because if the file is, is invalid, uh, the boolean operator will return false. And in, in case the boolean operator returns false, uh, we just print a message to the user so the user knows the rest of the code did not execute properly. Finally, uh, in order to write the actual content to the, to the file, we call this print method and pass as input uh, the string with the content we want to write to the file. Once again, enclosing this method call in an if condition because this print uh, method will return the number of bytes written to the file. And here in a simplified version, we just check if some byte was written and we assume that if some content was written that uh, everything was successfully done. Of course, that we could improve this by checking the actual number of bytes written if it matches what expected, but we are going to keep things simple here. To finalize uh, this writing part, we just need to call the close method on our file object to guarantee that uh, the file is effectively closed. So from this point onward, we should already have a new file, uh, or if we already had, you should have overwritten uh, uh, the file in your file system, but the point is, there should be in the root directory a file called uh, testfat.txt. Uh, 
So, uh, now for the writing procedure, uh, and this is why I, I called, uh, I, sorry, I closed uh, the file object previously, I'm going to open uh, the file again, everything from scratch, because in a real uh, use case, most likely the file was written uh, in another point of time. So I'm doing all the procedure of opening the file uh, from scratch. So, like we did before for writing, we need to call, you need to open the file. Uh, so we call again this open method on our FAT uh, object or external variable um, in order to open the file. One particularity about this open method is that by default it assumes that if we don't specify anything, it assumes that the opening mode is for reading. So, whereas I previously had to, to pass here um, a parameter indicating the, the opening mode, in this case I could do this file underscore read, and as you can see this constant is recognized, but this is the default value, so I can leave it just like here, like this, and just pass the simple, simply the, the name of the file that I want to open. Note that it matches the one we previously created. Again, we get uh, we get an object of class file, and again, uh, we do an error check to see uh, if the file was correctly open, in this case for reading. So if everything goes fine, we just print here this simple uh, message to, to make the output of our program more user-friendly, but basically it indicates that we are going to print the content, and now we are going to, to read the content of the file uh, in a loop. Basically, in order to check if there's content available, we have this available method on our file object that we can call, and it will return the number of bytes available uh, to read um, in the in the file. Note that as as we are reading, the uh, it, think of reading a file like consuming bytes from a buffer. So as we are reading bytes, uh, the number return here will obviously um, reduce uh, until there are no more bytes to read. So this is why we are going to call this available uh, this available method in a loop. Note that this available method uh, doesn't represent is is not the the size of the file because as I've uh, already said and I want to emphasize, as we are reading the file, the number of bytes available will return by this method will start uh, to reduce until there are no more files available. So basically, do this in the loop. And in order to read a byte, a single byte from our file, and we are going for simplicity to read the file byte by byte, we just call this uh, read method on our file object. Basically, it takes no arguments and it will return the next byte uh, to read from the file. Uh, I'm going to directly write it to the serial um, to the serial um, to the serial port. Note that I'm using here the write. A method, dot the, not the print or the print alien, because I want to really uh, write to the serial uh, port the content directly read from the file. So I read a byte uh, from the file, then I read a, uh, I write a byte to the serial console. So and as I've said, we are going to consume all the bytes one by one, and once all the bytes are uh, are read, well, we have nothing nothing more to read from the file, and we know that we have reached the end of the file. And after that, like we did for writing, also for reading, we should close the file once the procedure is done. So, uh, as I've mentioned, um, this is a very simple procedure. No, there's not much, uh, there's not much complexity to take in consideration here. It's just a simple writing operation, specifying the content, and then reading the content byte by byte until we have everything that we want from the file. So I've already uploaded the code to my SP32, so we don't have to wait for the compiling and uploading procedure. And I've already run it, but I will run it from scratch again, so I can show you everything in action. So, as you can see here, the first message that we are expecting is that the file system mounted with success, so everything was fine. Then the file was written also with success, so all the bytes we wanted to write to the file uh, were written. And finally, here is our sentence saying, okay, from this point on, we have the content of the file. And here in this line is the actual content, which was our uh, test string that 
we have written originally to the file. Of course, that you can try around with other other uh, content, but basically for what we have covered here in this tutorial, this was the expected value. So this is uh, the procedure that we do to read, write, and read from the FAT file system. But take in consideration that uh, apart from the mounting procedure uh, and the fact that we call the open and the open method um, in a specific in a variable that is specific for that uh, type of file system, if you were uh, using a SPE uh, FFES file system, which is another type of file system supported by the SP32, the procedure of writing and reading would be exactly the same. With the, the only difference being that instead of calling, a, instead of including the library that we are including, we would include another one for the for that uh, type of file system. Then, when mounting the the file system, we would interact with a specific external variable for the SPE FFES file system, and the opening method would be also called on that specific external variable. But other than that. It's exactly the same, the same interface. We would call the open method, uh, we would call the, the print method, we would, call, we would call the available method, and we would call the read method in order to both uh, write and read from the file. So uh, this is it. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. Uh, hope you have enjoyed.